All right, let's start with SPY. We can see we have a huge gap up uh, that happened, which is a good thing. Um, didn't do much after you know a certain time. We could really go into uh, the 15 minute or even 30 minute. You can see after the gap up, pretty much just traded sideways. Uh, this happened and um, just again, the underlining tone is to the bull side. So don't be too harped on that. We just wanna see it continue, break out these highs again this probably wouldn't have I mean on the gap up this hard maybe you wouldn't have gotten in on a, you know a break above this high uh, or maybe you did and you're putting your stop below there if you can risk that much it's about three dollars so it's not really that much we think about it but uh again the pattern is still you know I just again it's just it's not given any type of strength it's not coming off of previous highs there's no spacing it's just creeping in and out and I don't want to sound like you know too pessimist here but i mean pessimistic i uh, just you know saying that it gapped up that's fine but it didn't really follow through that much but again tomorrow's another day and it is in a bull trend it is in an uptrend so we got to respect the trend the trend is your friend i'm not going to piss in the wind because i see that this is you know I, like i said these things can resolve themselves to the upside and downside but so far it's you know we want to see if it continue breaks out these highs and goes from there uh, you got the qqq really good pattern if you bought um on friday it continued up got up above these highs uh and it looks good it's still going i want this to basically break above and tag this and continue to the upside so we'll see how this one works out we got iwm iwm is not really looking that good quite honestly i'm, I'm looking at the chart this is a gap up and then uh this is a red candle and it pretty much went all the way down i mean if you look at the 15 minute look on the 30 minute uh this pretty much just is not looking that strong on the this is actually something you got to be a little careful for because if you look at this you can say okay it came back to these now it's just flagging and if it breaks below this low you see the volume is is definitely you know if the volume starts increasing to the downside i mean it you know, it's, it's it's right now it's not something i would want to go long in uh per se so if it gives me a lower high definitely something to short so iwm is, is showing a little bit of weakness i mean i'm not into the double tops either because i think that's just a i think quite honestly it's just some wall street stuff that people put out there that you know i'm not looking at the double top i'm looking at if you get a lower high below this and you can short from here so we'll see what tomorrow brings um and we kind of go from there uh you got the diamond uh diamond broke up and i think it did pretty much the same dance that everything else did it just sideways so if you weren't trading the futures uh a lot of stuff you know especially these indexes you know kind of just was sideways so you have to be patient and the underlying tone is to the up, upside and we'll see if it can continue and follow through and add some volume to this thing so the momentum looks like it might be shifting um more to the upside which is a good thing um i mean it was always to the uptrend but i mean as far as the momentum indicator which is the macd is looking like it's curling back up so that's something to be you know happy about so we got apple Apple continuing to look good. I mean, again, the buy was down here. You should be making plenty of money, up almost seven bucks. Uh, that's almost seven percent on that that name. You got a uh, Google uh, looking good as well. Break above this high, looking good to test and break out these. I'm not looking to break. Look for the breakout trade. So again, we saw it break out, test and roll back above. That's a good sign for me. Uh, I, IBM. IBM uh, showed some strength today. I mean, look at the 30 minute. You can see it, it pretty much opened up really strong. And again, we know the index is traded sideways, but now we just want to see it trade outside this box. But you can definitely see that there is a little bit more uh, conviction to the upside. And then if it can come break above again, you know, we kind of like to have a break above and then come. If it can get no spacing, that's fine. If it comes in layers on top of it, that's fine, too. But uh, this looks good. And again, the buy to me would be down here. Uh, you got, um, who else? You got Citigroup actually launched up. I don't know what happened, but I know there's a lot of earnings and stuff. And I'm not really following that stuff. So I might have to do some research. Bank of America. Mm, again, this is this is this, this pattern is, is really sloppy and sideways. There's no trend, so you pick something else. Uh, maybe JP Morgan. Uh, again, this is another one you have to be careful of. It's just rounding. Is it going to? give you a lower high from here and break down below this this uh, 50 and 200 that's something to look at you got Johnson and Johnson uh, just churning sideways you got Pepsi 
Pepsi actually did really well today. I know some traders that actually got into that and did really well from that. Exxon Mobil sideways. Uh, Visa actually looking good. And does MasterCard look good? Yes, uh, looks good as well. So we see if we could pop above these highs again. The buy is here. Uh, continuing to the upside, break above this high and continuing up. This is you know, this is a pretty good move. It's up two and a half percent and it's looking to break out the highs. So you don't have to wait for these stuff. If you can get a nice pullback from a previous low, a higher low, you know, depending on the pattern and how a lot of things are correlating, it might be a really, really good uh, time for you to get in some stuff. Uh, GLD gold uh, got beat up today and with gold getting beat up, uh, silver is going to get beat up as well. Um, if you look on the weekly time frame, you can see this stuff is pretty much trading sideways. If you look at a, a monthly time frame, you can see how really, you know, how it just went to, you know, this was the time that you're getting in and you see it just pretty much, again, these things can creep, but it resolved itself to the downside. So, uh, you gotta be really careful with that. And this has been trading sideways so long. I mean, the chart is a chart that you just gotta be careful to see which way it's going to pop. Is it just going to hover around this and, and break up or is it hovering around this to give you more downside but you can see that the the trend is definitely to the uh, to the downside so far so just be very cautious with that and uh, make sure you trade these things right I mean AIG I mean it's it's a choppy little one but uh on the weekly you can see that I mean excuse me on the daily it's just been trading sideways as well so when I start seeing these patterns I I just say listen somebody needs to show their hand because right now the bulls are not looking strong and the bears are not really pushing it down as well so bigger picture I, I know that iwm is followed by many you got to be really cautious with that don't fall in love with anything but you can see how this is kind of setting up so we have to see how that goes spy these things all gapped up say sideways so we want to see what tomorrow brings take care